I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this is the CubeSat Sim STEM payload testing video. So we have our nearly complete uh, STEM payload board here. Uh, this one is built with the SparkFun Pro Micro as the uh, as the microcontroller. You could also do it with a with a uh, a, a um, STEM uh, STM32 uh, microcontroller, but it's got the two sensors there: the uh, the gyro, the IMU and the uh, pressure altitude uh, temperature sensor and the um, LEDs. And on the bottom, we just have the uh, socket for the GPIO that connects it into the, uh, to the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to be uh, uh, programming the Pro Micro, and I'm going to be doing it using the, uh, using the uh, CubeSat Sim ground station, the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, using the Raspberry Pi Fox in a Box image because it, it has everything already installed in it. Uh, on another video, I'll show you how to download and install um, all the uh, Arduino software and libraries. Um, but if you if you use this, uh, everything is is installed. You really just have to have to say um, have to say program, and you'll be going. Okay. So uh, I have uh, connected to my uh, ground station um, using uh, VNC. It's uh, it's on my network, so uh, so that way I can uh, show you what's going on. So I'm going to go under the Pi here and under Programming, and you see the Arduino IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, is pre-installed. And if I click on that, uh, it will uh, load. Also, the um, all the sketches are also uh, pre-installed uh, on the uh, on the ground station there. Okay, so it uh, opens up on Blink here. Uh, you know, Blink is the typical first thing you do with, with an Arduino with a microcontroller. Uh, Blink the LED. This particular version is for the uh, is for the um, uh, Pro Micro and the STM32. Okay, so if we look at the settings here, um, if I go under Tools. Uh, the board is already set to SparkFun Pro Micro. Um, the processor is set to AT Mega 32U4, and it's the 3.3 volt 8 megahertz version. It's very important to set that uh, to the 3.3 volt, not the 5 volt. Um, and then port here, uh, this is where it would uh, it would show up. Um, there's there's other ports here. But I haven't actually plugged it in yet, so neither none, neither of those ports uh, are are going to be it. Um, okay, so now we're ready to to plug it in. So I'm going to use my uh, micro USB to USB cable, and first I'm going to plug it in to the Pro Micro, and then I'm going to uh, plug other end of the cable here into my it's a it's a pi 4 attached to the back of this there we go and you can see we've got we've got some lights here there's one light on the uh, pro micro and there's there's a light on the uh, on the gyro on the blue board there's no light on the uh, on the pressure altitude uh, temperature sensor and your um, your LEDs may glow as well it, it kind of depends so okay so that's a good start to, to have that. Uh, so now if I go under tools, let's see what is there. Ah, and you see now there is, uh, there is another one and it looks like it's already uh, automatically selected it. Uh, let's try get board information. There we go. Okay, so that seems to indicate there is a board here um, and it says it says it'll it'll get information on it once uh, once we've uploaded a sketch, right? A sketch is a name for a for the for the program that runs on the Pro Micro there. Okay, so there's two buttons here. There's the verify button, which basically just runs the compiler, make sure that uh, that your code uh, doesn't have any errors in it, and all the libraries are there. And the upload. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight to the upload here. And you see uh, the progress down there saying it is uh, compiling and loading. Now you can see some blinking, blinking lights here, indicating that the uh, that it's uploading uh, to the uh, to the Pro Micro. 
Now it says it's done uploading and I see blinking. So on most Arduinos, a blink just turns one LED on and off, but the Pro Micro has two. So this code just alternates between the yellow one and the green one. So, so that's good. And we can just verify that that's in fact working here. If we scroll down here, we can modify uh, the code. Let's see, so here's, here is the delay. LED is on, so right now it's one second. If I change that to 500, uh, that should make it, uh, make it blink for less time. Let's just give that a try and see what we get. There we go. So I don't know if you can see the the uh, the uh, yellow LED is illuminated for less time now uh, because of that. Okay. So Blink is working. So let's uh, let's open uh, another sketch here. So let's see. Uh, the all the sketches are under uh, the Pi home directory CubeSat Sim stem payload. So this is Blink that we just did. Um, let's just go for the full, the full one here. Um, payload BME 280 MPU 6050 um, XS. Actually, let's yeah, let's let's go ahead and and do that one. So we will open it, and now I'm just going to double check to make sure the board is set, uh, the processor is set, the port is set. Okay, I think we're all set. So I'm going to click on the right arrow there to uh, upload it. So again, we're going to be uh, compiling the code and uploading it. OK, so it's done, uh, done uploading. Now, in order to see this one does not, uh, does not just blink the LEDs, to, to look at this one, we need to open the serial monitor, which is this button on the right side. It's like a little uh, magnifying glass. And that'll open a serial uh, terminal to the um, to the Pro Micro. So let's do that. And now, if I type a question mark and click on Send, ah, there we go. Look at that. We 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 get some data there. So it begins with OK, which is just the board saying it's it's good. And then uh, BME two eighty, which is the the uh, purple sensor there, and the data from that. And then MPU 6050, which is the uh, which is the IMU, and then the data from that. So that's great. That uh, that shows things working. And in terms of what what these things are, uh, the BME 280, the first field here is the temperature. So that's 24 degrees. Uh, that's Celsius, room temperature. Uh, the pressure in uh, in uh, pascals, I guess, uh, 1006. Um, next is the um, is the uh, estimated altitude, uh, which is 56 meters, and the uh, relative humidity, 13%. That's pretty low. Uh, and the MPU 6050 here, the first three numbers are the, uh, are the rotation rate in the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So they're all pretty much zero. And then the next three numbers are the acceleration in the X, Y, and Z. And you can see X and Y are zero, and Z is pretty much one, right? Because it's upright, but it is actually tilted a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Uh, let me do it horizontal here. See if we can't get that, that one closer to one. So I'm gonna hit send again. And now it's still, still about 0.9. Let's try one more time. Yeah, still not, uh, not reading quite. It should read about one there. Okay, so that's good. And this is, this is the exact mechanism where the Pi is going to communicate over a serial port and read this data in, and then it will be included um, in the telemetry. All right, so let's do one more um, here. Uh, open. STEM payload. And let's go to the STEM payload test here. Now this one is uh, is 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 going to double is going to verify the the LEDs here. Uh, there we go. See the see the uh, 
green LED and the blue LED there uh, alternating. Let's see, does it do anything else? That's basically it. Uh, let's see, does it do something on the serial monitor? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it's also, uh, it's actually, this is an estimate of the temperature, but I, I haven't installed the actual diode temperature sensor there, so that's not going to read. Uh, it's not 104 degrees Celsius here. <laughs> it's not not accurate there. Okay. All right. So so this, this STEM payload board is working, and uh, we can now uh, finish finish building it, just add the last few components, and then we can try uh, try and see if the uh, if the Pi zero can talk to it.